It's game week 28 of Montijo Madness, and I am your host, Jack City Gaming, and we're going to go right into my game against Lobos, and we'll see how I do. All right, all right, and we're going into this next game. It's We're away at Union Adarve, uh, and this is your starting lineup for the game. Uh, we're actually in totally unchanged 11. It's going to be Bertabe, Madrigal, Cardozo, Anibo, Martinez, Batanero, Yedai, and Pose on the middle, Aqua on the left, Ibra Kate on the right, and Catala up top. Uh, the bench is going to change a little bit. Uh, Izan Rodriguez is in there because Sergio Tienza got an injury, a gashed upper leg in training. Uh, and then we got Javicino, Machado, Rodal, Kundul. Baragan makes the bench as Cristo is recovering from a injury. And then Rayo uh, there. Uh, Canizo still is injured. Um, yeah, damaged heel. So it is what it is. Uh, you know, neither, <laughs> neither strikers have really made an impact whatsoever uh, for this entire campaign, honestly. So, you know, it is what it is. Oh, should I turn it up? I think I should. Let's turn up the volume. Let's make sure you guys can hear it. Here we go, guys. This is uh, carry on because we just dominated Malia in our last game. Oh, that was incredible. That's all I needed right there. Uh, opposition, Segovia, Minyambres. I want to make sure I close him down. Albert as well. Um, he's right-footed and Minyambres is left-footed. So let's... Uh, Keep him on his right, keep him on his left to see if we can cut them, make them cut inside here. And then uh, Danny Gun uh, Gonzalez here, just tight mark, hit it hard. I think that's all I'm going to do. Let's see if we can get this on the road. We are in first place. I can't, which I actually can't believe. I Honestly, I didn't think I was going to get like just start a run of form like this cuz uh dude we're in a title challenge right now we're getting to we're we are at like the very very end we only got a few games left we you know what was it like 6 7 games i can't remember so we're right there and uh atletico madrid b myself uh and <laughs> see other team i can't remember uh oh atletico paso yeah so it's just the three of us Let's demand more here. All right, well, if they want to just give up the ball like that, I'm totally fine with it. Cardozo launches it forward, and Alvaro Lopez wins it. Oh, there we go. Catala wins it back. Stabs it away. Aqua loses it to Danny Cuevas. Yeah. Segovia wins the header, but doesn't matter. Anibo is there. Who, by the way, I have to say, he might be, uh, like, Katsala obviously is one, probably the, the best performer. Uh, but um, Marvin Anibo, I have to be honest, one of the stars that has come out of this, him and Cardozo, one of the stars out of this team that's, that's been able to produce. Yet I, I hate when you hit it like that. I really do. If you would if you would score them some sometimes I'd be like, all right, take a shot, but you haven't. That was not a highlight. Football manager, I want to let you know that that was not a highlight. That was a highlight. That was decent. Just over the top of the bar there. We've been able to shut them down so far. I'm not going to work the ball in the box. Thank you. However, uh, slow going so far. 11 fouls. That's crazy. And they got no yellows either. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of, yeah, just keep going, I guess. I Nothing really happened. Let's just keep going. See what happens. No real uh, highlights in that first half, so we might have to make some changes. Oh, that's a yellow right there. No? Game's going to FM me, I swear to God. 
Madrigal gets it, yeah. Martinez to Ibraceta. Ball out to Catala. He's going to hold up the play. Ibraceta. Still working that ball on the right side. Beautiful. Catala, get there. Ooh, good flick. Lumbo able to hold on to it. But I like that. I like that. You know, we always want to deliver balls into the ball, uh, into the box for Catala. He's great in the air. He's been doing it all year. Mignambres is going to get a, a goal here. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, demand more. This is total BS. Total BS. Look at this. This like that's absolutely ridiculous. I'm getting FM now. Is it now we're at like the end, of, like towards the end of the season? So the FM nightmare is is just it's becoming more and more apparent because. You know, you'll dominate a game, but you'll still win one nothing. Get I, Aqua, beautiful ball, boom, one one, his first goal of the year, and Gideon Aqua was able to make a beautiful play, just absolutely. That's that's title behavior. That is title winning behavior right there, Gideon Aqua. Look at that. T one touch, two touch around Danny Cuevas. Hits it in the roof of the net. Goalkeeper rooted to the spot. All right, let's make some subbies. Uh, Abraham Bozo is not having a great game. Gabriel Cardozo isn't either. Um, should I put Kundul uh, uh, in? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. I'm going to put Yeti in the Carrillo spot. It's Carrillo, right? Yeah. Carrillo. Yeah. Carrillero. Carrillero. I don't know. Um, I feel like that's maybe the only sub I'm going to make. Yeah. I mean, Batanero, 6-6. Six, six. Rodal maybe later. Encourage. Come on. Iber Keita. Baragon. Let's just put Baragon on and see, see what happens. He's uh, good on his left, so yeah, let's put him as an inside uh, forward here. We need wins. We need wins. Martinez. Ah, uh, come on. Adarvi is a good, decent team too. They're trying to chase for this uh, playoff spot. They're uh, they have an out, they're on the outside track of that right now. But uh, that being said, they're late in the season. They're still pushing for promotions. So it's not like they're they're not a bad team. They're decent right now. Let's encourage the team again. Rojo gets the ball out. Segovia. Oh, my God. Martinez, what are you doing there? Yeah, Mignambres is one of their uh, better players. Ball in. Ooh, Segovia unable to get it. Segovia was actually on uh, Montijo last season prior to, to moving. I'll put Javi Chino on just to get that going. Um that's my last sub. I'm not doing it anymore. We might have to get a draw on this, unfortunately. It seems like it. Unless they get a... Uh-oh, this is scary. This is scary. I don't like this. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. 1-1. One, one. That's it. Uh, let's go on to the next, uh, the highlights for what happened in this week. But unfortunate, we only got a draw uh, against Lobos. Sequemos Malia are trying to create 
distance from the drop zone coming into this game week. And Sequoia must score from a speculative shot where the goalkeeper probably should have gotten it. Uh, Salcedo will definitely be kicking himself uh, when he returns home later this evening. But Malia were able to at least level it uh, at 22 minutes and they share the spoils after an evenly fought match. Correa at home to Cerdinola and ultimately Correa cannot seem to get a win at all. Uh, they've only gotten one and it was a poor win against Alcorcón because everybody beats them. But uh, Correa let go of their coach after many months of just not winning and just getting draws and losses and now they're no longer competing for the title uh, and they're now outside of the playoff spots as well so uh, Alberto Orquia had to be let go. Certainly on the other hand uh, we'll take this you know they came on the road to a very tough opponent and they're able to get a point even though they let up some really really bad chances here late in the game. The hosts, Guadalajara, are fighting desperately against relegation uh, while the visiting team is chasing the title. Javi Cueto is helping them out there with a goal just on the other side of the halftime. And Atletico Madrid B were fighting a tight affair all game until in the 92nd minute, Diego Bree with a beautiful run and a tidy finish were able to seal the points. Leganes B able to pull off a huge upset against Don Benito with a 1-0 through Romerick. He did miss a penalty later in the game, but that won't matter. Don Benito dropped three points in their race. But that wasn't the biggest shock of all. The biggest shock is Segoviana winning against Atletico Paso 1-0 here with Acuna scoring the 75th. Huge implications for both teams. Casareño hosted Dio Gasano and continue their undefeated run. It is now at 13 games, and we're in March, and they have won now every single game in March. So they are have a absolutely rapid pace. They're blitzing up the table right now and really gunning for that uh, playoff spot. Ivan Fernandez and El County were able to make it 2-0 at 10 minutes. Locked the whole game down, but Buhan, a recent signing by Diego San, who's on loan there, was able to make it a goal, uh, score one back in the 82nd. But it wouldn't matter. And Fernandez missed a penalty two minutes later, and again, two-win victory. And Vienovens run Alcorcón B team out of town as they beat the crap out of them 3-1. Uh, this was not really a contest, if I'm honest. Higo Russia was able to get his second, third, and fourth goal of the season. First hat trick of the campaign, obviously. And, uh, yeah, all able to do it all before halftime. And the game was pretty much over by halftime. So, Vienna Vance was able to stop the bleeding. Uh, you know, they're on a three-game winless run, and, you know, now they're able to defeat the wor one of the worst teams in the league. And Alcacón now have 11 games without a win, and seven losses in a row. Garcia getting a consolation goal by stabbing it and rounding the keeper in the 91st. In the last game of the week, it is Naval Carnero at home to Estepona. And both teams looking for a win. Naval Carnero looking for that safety uh, right before the relegation drop. And Estepona needs to keep their pressure on the title, at bare minimum, the playoff spot. Uh, they get a first goal in the 44th right before halftime through the Colombian of Rodiega. And then Frodo was able to put him up 2-0 in the 48th minute just after halftime. But Ian gets a penalty and converts it in the 54th. But the entire capitulation and a draw takes place at the 60th minute with Ian also scoring a double. So there we go. Points are shared. And here we go. It's uh, the end of game week 23, or sorry, 23, 28. And uh, yeah, we're still top of the table, which is great. We got a draw uh, against Adarve on the road. And that helps us actually expand our league, our lead, which is uh, not something you see often with a draw. So we'll take it. We're up two points now at 50 points. And Atletico Madrid B is now the new uh, maid of honor at second place. And now 48. Atletico Paso, because of their shock loss. Uh, where is it? Where can I find it? It's somewhere. There it is, Segoviana. Uh, they're now third place at 47 points. And a point behind them, 
our two teams, Estepona and Don Benito, in the last of the playoff spots. Casareño at 44 with their uh, really dangerous run of play. Uh, Vino Vens at 43. Three points off the playoff spots here. Cordia, as I mentioned before, they sacked their manager after that nil-nil to Sardinia. You know, they're at an eighth place now with 42 points. Adarve, uh, 40 points. Uh, we could probably safely assume that they're out of the uh, playoff running now. Uh, six points off. You know, they are they round off the top half uh, at 40 points. Sequeamos and Navacanero at 36 points. Uh, six points from safety, so they're probably safe by now. Uh, Malia, 33 points. Three points from safety at 12th place. Guadalajara, two points from safety. Uh, then you got Segoviana in the first relegation spot. Dio Casano in the second at 29 points. Uh, and then Leganes, 28 points at 16. This is where you start to think, eh, they're probably a little too far gone now. But it's still only four points, so you'd never really know. But Cerniola, they're done at 25 points. And then at the base of the table, Ockercone, who are so far cut adrift that there's only darkness. So, uh, yeah, that's you know that's basically it. That's the end of game week 28. What I do want to highlight too is uh, I just went through back like the the rest of the whole season and everything. You know, just wanted to just you know take notes and see what's going on. So we got a, a few blowouts. Um, I wanted to just highlight here. Um, you may or may not remember from from weeks past but game week two we had two of them Casadeño uh, losing 5-1 to Atletico Madrid B um, also Don Benito beating the crap out of uh, Don Benito 6-1 over Sequemos and then uh, forwarding to game week nine Via Novens losing 4 nothing to Estepona um, and then Alcorcón B 6-1 to Guadalajara game week 13 that was probably the most shocking thing I've ever seen in my life this one right here Really shocking. Um, and then Guadalajara 5, Segoviana 0. Two weeks later, after getting dominated like that, two weeks later, they're, they're able to uh, flip the script on them. And then uh, Casareño, they had one. Uh, they were actually on the, the receiving end early on here, Atletico Madrid B, right? And then they flipped the script and they were able to pummel Correa 5-1 in game week 22. And then Malia over Alcorcón B. This is the last beatdown we've had so far. This is in game week 25. So we had two in game week two, one in game week nine, one in game week 13, one in game week 15, one in game week 22, and then one in game week 25. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beatdowns. It's basically like four goals or more. You know, you could argue that like that a three nail is a route, sure. But, um, I would say that, you know, I, I think four goals or more is kind of just exceptional. So, because uh, if you start including 3-0 victories, uh, I might include 3-0 victories if it's going to be like, you know, 6-3. I think that that's kind of a, like, it's kind of ab it's an abnormal 3-0 victory, but we don't have enough of those. So, that's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. Another thing I wanted to, I wanted to start just kind of tracking here for this game this this season is the number of hat tricks that we uh experience here uh is actually kind of astounding um let me go back so first first hat trick we had we actually had two hat tricks in game week two it was actually in the the blowouts uh that i mentioned earlier here six one this blowout uh revy was the first hat trick uh he got three to medishkov he actually scored four here um and so he was the, the second hat trick that we had at a 6-5, which is a crazy score. Um, but he also had another one. He had a hat trick here, uh, the loss 4-3. So Tim Anishkov actually has two hat tricks in this season so far in game week two and game week 26. He is one of three people to ever score four goals in a game. Um, so that's uh, also he's like a, got a little unique record there, one of three to do that. So we actually have a, a one of the hat tricks. Your boy Victor, he's actually the other one of the other ones who's able to score four in. Um, so he has one of the hat tricks, but he's a, one of the three people who was able to score four in a game. Um, and then you got Borjas over at Letico Paso. He scored one in game week seven, the same week, game week uh, as this four goal giant here. Uh, Adarve in the next game week, actually. It's this guy, Segoviana. He scored a hat trick. And then Malia scored a hat trick in game week eight. 
Then if we go to Alcorcón, he's the uh, the third person to score four in a game. Alvaro Baladia uh, in that big 6-1 that I think is probably the most wild score be- considering the fact that they're like, look at how bad they were. They had like, this brief period where they, they had, you know, they scored, they won four games in basically like eight game out of eight or so. And they just put out this crazy punishment to Guadalajara. This is, I don't know if there's going to be a sh- more shocking result. Like if they blow out Atletico Paso, I'd flip the script on that, but yeah, Alvaro, Alvaro Baladia uh, getting one. And then Tomenishkov in the 26th. Oh, and then uh, the most recent, Higo Rocha scoring a hat trick. So that takes it up to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hat tricks in all of the games that we've seen and watched and uh, commentated on. 10 hat tricks. Tomenishkov has two of them. And there's only three players with four goals uh, in a game. Uh, we've never had a f- five-goal game uh, for a player. But, uh, yeah, just uh, letting you know, just wanted to, like, I, I am tracking this, and I didn't uh, bring that up. I, I brought up the- some of the blowouts earlier, but uh, just giving you a little awareness. There are seven t- there are seven games that have had four goals or more in their discrepancy, and also hat tricks. There's ten hat tricks. And only uh, three times have we ever seen four goals or more. But let's go into the next game week. Let's see what's going on uh, in game week 29. Let's preview it. Uh, oh, you can see I was like just rewinding back the time here. Uh, latest results. Uh, oh, next match matches. All right. Sequemos at home to Atletico Madrid B. Sequemos uh, pretty much safe for the most part because there's six points out. Atletico Madrid B chasing the title. So they're going to be taking that on so uh you know scrimmos don't necessarily have nothing to play for um but you know i think that'll be a little bit a little bit dangerous of a game if i'm honest a little dangerous uh scrimmos have not exactly not terrible yeah they got a four game undefeated run so far so that could be something uh casareño at home to segoviana of course the team that's very desperate versus the team that's desperate to get into the playoffs they're they're right there now so uh, that that's interesting. Just two uh, two fortunes kind of doing the same thing on either side of the table. Don Benito at home to Adarve. Darve's kind of out of it now. Uh, Don Benito is still in it. They're actually still in the title race. I mean, four points is not nothing uh, in all things considered. Malia at home to Leganes. Uh, you know, I think these are two teams that are looking to fight off relegation. I would pip uh, Malia to win this one personally. I think Leganes are done and dusted in my eyes uh, i think four points like at this point i think is too much four points at the top probably a little i just feel like it's a little bit less because i feel like myself paso and Atletico madrid b could drop points however i think malia or guadalajara i think it's just like the four points gaps there it's just it, it feels bigger even though it's mathematically the same uh cordia at home to vienna vens Two teams that are basically kind of lost the pace from playoffs. So that's a six-pointer if they have promotion ambitions. Um, and Estepona at home to Alcorcón. Uh, yeah, fourth place against the bottom team. So Estepona just need the win. Alcorcón are already done and dusted. Dio Cassano at home to Cerniola. Cerniola definitely done and dusted again. Uh, Dio Cassano have hopes to possibly, so they need that win. Um, and then I'm away at Naval Carnero, which is not an easy game because Again, um, these t- this team is just an absolutely attacking dynamo, uh, and they really scare me. Johan Rodiega is not a player that I want to be screwing around with, um, and also Tomaneshkov is Tomaneshkov. <laughs> There's not really much else to say, so that's not exactly a, a, like an easy one. And then finally, Atletico Paso at home to Guadalajara. Uh, Team desperate to win the title. Team desperate not to go down. So uh, we got a couple of those uh, in this game week. And, uh, you know, I hope you are enjoying it again. I'm enjoying it. Jack City with this Montijo madness. And I will see you into game week 29. We're so, so close. We only have, I think there's only 34 games left in this season here. Uh, Where does it say? 34 games, right? So, man, we do not have much left to play here. I mean, six games, it's crazy. It's crazy. But 
All right, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.